On the command ship of the Thraxian fleet, Commander Zorak, a seasoned warrior with countless victories under his belt, was studying the latest scans. Beside him stood Lieutenant Frax, his trusted aide and strategist. The holographic display showed Earth, a seemingly insignificant planet, but one that had shown unexpected resistance to their preliminary probes. Our scanners have detected a new species. They call themselves humans, Commander Zorak said, his voice resonating with authority. Are they a threat, Commander? asked Lieutenant Frax, his eyes fixed on the hologram. Commander Zorak waved his hand dismissively. Our technology is far superior. They are primitive. We will make quick work of them. Meanwhile, on Earth, the atmosphere at the human military base was tense. General Carter, a man known for his strategic brilliance, was briefing his team. The radar had picked up an alien ship heading towards Earth at an alarming speed. We've picked up an alien ship on our radar. They're coming in fast, General Carter announced, his tone grave. Colonel Lee, standing beside him, asked, Do we have a plan, General? General Carter nodded. We'll use strategy and creativity. Let's show them what humans are capable of. Private Jenkins, a young soldier with a mix of fear and excitement in his eyes, couldn't help but voice his concern. But sir, their ships are huge. How can we fight them? The general gave him a reassuring look. Remember, it's not the size of the ship but the will of the people aboard. Let's get to work. As the alien ships approached, the tension in the human base was palpable. The Thraxian fleet, with its massive warships and advanced weaponry, was a sight to behold. Commander Zorak, confident in his superiority, ordered the first strike. Fire the plasma cannons, Zorak commanded his eyes gleaming with the anticipation of an easy victory. However, the humans were prepared. Their small, agile ships darted through the sky, evading the alien fire with remarkable skill. Their ships are small and agile. They're evading our attacks, reported Lieutenant Frax, unable to hide his surprise. Impossible. How are they doing that? Zorak barked, frustration creeping into his voice. They're using their terrain to their advantage, sir. Their creativity is impressive. Vrax observed. Keep firing. They cannot outsmart us forever, Zorak commanded, unwilling to accept the growing challenge. Back on Earth, Colonel Lee and his team were busy implementing their defense tactics. The General's plan was clear. Use creativity and strategy to outmaneuver the technologically superior enemy. They're trying to overpower us with brute force, Let's show them finess, Colonel Lee instructed his team. Deploy the drones and EMPs. Hit them where it hurts, General Carter ordered, his voice calm and collected. Drones away, EMPs activated. Private Jenkins relayed, his hands moving swiftly over the controls. The effect was immediate. The alien ships, reliant on their advanced technology, started experiencing malfunctions. Inside the command ship, the situation was quickly deteriorating. Sir, our systems are down. What have they done? Vrax exclaimed, his usually composed demeanor shattered. Impossible. How did they? Zorak began, but Vrax interrupted. It's their EMPs, Commander. They've disabled our technology. Vrax explained, a mix of awe and frustration in his voice. Prepare for a ground assault. We will crush them up close, Zorak decided, his determination unwavering despite the setbacks. As the Thraxian ground troops began their descent, the humans readied themselves for a different kind of battle. The open fields and dense forests of Earth would be their battlefield, and their home advantage would play a crucial role. All right, people, stay hidden and strike when they least expect it, General Carter instructed his troops his voice steady and reassuring. Set up traps and ambush points. Use the environment, Colonel Lee added, his strategic mind already formulating a plan. They're splitting up, sir. Should we engage? Private Jenkins asked, his weapon at the ready. Yes, but carefully. Hit hard and fall back, 
General Carter ordered, his eyes scanning the horizon for any sign of the enemy. The Thraxian troops, used to straightforward combat and superior firepower, were unprepared for the guerrilla tactics employed by the humans. Small groups of soldiers struck swiftly and then vanished into the terrain, leaving confusion and chaos in their wake. We've walked into a trap. Fall back, Zorak shouted, realizing too late that his troops were being outmaneuvered. Their tactics are unpredictable, sir. What do we do? Vrax asked, desperation creeping into his voice. Regroup and counterattack. Do not let them outthink us, Zorak commanded, trying to maintain control of the situation. They're regrouping. Let's give them a warm welcome, Colonel Lee said, a determined glint in his eye. Hit them with everything we have. Show no mercy, General Carter ordered, his resolve unshakable. They're pulling back. We've got them on the run, Private Jenkins reported, his voice filled with a mix of relief and excitement. They're retreating, sir. Should we pursue? Colonel Lee asked, ready for the next move. No, let them go. We've shown them what humans can do, General Carter decided, his mind already thinking ahead. As the Thraction forces retreated, licking their wounds and rethinking their strategies, the humans took a moment to celebrate their unexpected victory. They had shown that creativity, determination, and strategic thinking could triumph over sheer technological superiority. In the alien command ship, Commander Zorek was forced to confront a harsh reality. We cannot face them head on. Their creativity is too formidable, he admitted, his pride wounded but his mind already working on new plans. What is our next move, Commander? Vrax asked, eager to regain their lost honor. We must learn from this encounter. Study their tactics. We will not be defeated again, Zorek declared, his eyes burning with a renewed determination. Back on Earth, the mood was one of cautious optimism. We've proven our strength. The galaxy will know not to underestimate humans, General Carter said, his voice carrying a mixture of pride and warning. Here's to our creativity and resilience, Colonel Lee toasted, the soldiers around him cheering in agreement to victory and beyond. Private Jenkins shouted, his youthful enthusiasm infectious. General Carter, ever the vigilant leader, reminded them all, remember, we fight not just with weapons, but with our minds. That is our greatest strength. As the soldiers celebrated, the reality of their situation began to sink in. They had won a significant battle, but the war was far from over. The Thraxians would return, and when they did, the humans would need to be ready. They had shown their creativity and resilience, but they knew they had to stay vigilant, always prepared for whatever the galaxy would throw at them next. And so, with a mixture of pride and caution, the humans prepared for the next chapter in their ongoing struggle. They had faced an enemy far more advanced and had emerged victorious, but they knew the true test of their strength was yet to come. The initial victory in space had bolstered human morale, but the threat was far from over. The Thraxians, though technologically advanced, had underestimated human creativity and resilience. Now, they sought to redeem their honor through a ground invasion, believing that their sheer numbers and physical superiority would crush the human resistance. On board the Thraxian command ship, Commander Zorak was preparing his troops for the ground assault. The holographic display now showed strategic points on Earth, areas where the humans had fortified their defenses. Deploy the ground troops. We will overpower them, Zorek ordered, his voice filled with a steely resolve. Lieutenant Vrax, still reeling from their earlier defeat, was more cautious. Sir, the humans are using guerrilla tactics. They strike and vanish. We have superior numbers. Spread out and find them. Zorak insisted, unwilling to accept defeat. The Thraxian ground troops, clad in their imposing armor and armed with advanced weaponry, descended upon the earth. They spread out across the terrain, their scanners searching for any sign of human activity. The humans, however, were prepared. At the human military base, General Carter and his team were ready. 
The earlier victory had given them confidence, but they knew the real test was about to begin. All right, people, stay hidden and strike when they least expect it. General Carter instructed his troops, his voice calm and authoritative. Colonel Lee, always the strategist, added, set up traps and ambush points. Use the environment to our advantage. Private Jenkins, now more confident in his abilities, was eager to take action. They're splitting up, sir. Should we engage? Yes, but carefully. Hit hard and fall back. General Carter ordered his eyes scanning the horizon for any sign of the enemy. The humans moved swiftly and silently through the terrain. They had set up ambush points in the dense forests and laid traps in the open fields. They knew their land well and used it to their advantage. As the Thraction troops advanced, they were met with an unexpected resistance. Small groups of human soldiers would strike suddenly, using hit-and-run tactics that left the aliens confused and disoriented. We've walked into a trap. Fall back, Zorek shouted, realizing too late that his troops were being outmaneuvered. Their tactics are unpredictable, sir. What do we do? Vrax asked, desperation creeping into his voice. Regroup and counterattack. Do not let them outthink us, Zorek commanded, trying to maintain control of the situation. Meanwhile, Colonel Lee and his team were executing their plan flawlessly. They had set up a series of ambushes that kept the Thraxian troops on the defensive. They're regrouping. Let's give them a warm welcome, Colonel Lee said, a determined glint in his eye. Hit them with everything we have. Show no mercy, General Carter ordered his resolve unshakable. The humans struck with precision and speed, using their knowledge of the terrain to outmaneuver the larger alien force. Each ambush was a calculated move, designed to disrupt and demoralize the enemy. As the battle raged on, the Thraxian troops found themselves struggling to adapt to the human tactics. Their advanced technology was of little use against the cunning and resourcefulness of the humans. Sir, our forces are being overwhelmed. What are your orders? Vrax asked, his usually composed demeanor shattered. We cannot face them head on. Their creativity is too formidable, Zorak admitted, his pride wounded but his mind already working on new plans. What is our next move, Commander? Vrax inquired, eager to regain their lost honor. We must learn from this encounter, study their tactics. We will not be defeated again. Zorek declared, his eyes burning with a renewed determination. As the Thraxian forces began to retreat, the humans took a moment to regroup and assess the situation. They had won another significant battle, but they knew the war was far from over. Back at the human base, the mood was one of cautious optimism. They had proven their strength and ingenuity once again, but they knew they had to stay vigilant. They're pulling back. We've got them on the run. Private Jenkins reported, his voice filled with a mix of relief and excitement. Should we pursue, sir? Colonel Lee asked, ready for the next move. No, let them go. We've shown them what humans can do, General Carter decided, his mind already thinking ahead. We've proven our strength. The galaxy will know not to underestimate humans, General Carter said, his voice carrying a mixture of pride and warning. Here's to our creativity and resilience. Colonel Lee toasted, the soldiers around him cheering in agreement. To victory and beyond. Private Jenkins shouted, his youthful enthusiasm infectious. General Carter, ever the vigilant leader, reminded them all, remember, we fight not just with weapons, but with our minds. That is our greatest strength. As the soldiers celebrated, the reality of their situation began to sink in. They had won a significant battle, but the war was far from over. The Thraxians would return, and when they did, the humans would need to be ready. They had shown their creativity and resilience, but they knew they had to stay vigilant, always prepared for whatever the galaxy would throw at them next. And so, with a mixture of pride and caution, the humans prepared for the next chapter in their ongoing struggle. They had faced an enemy far more advanced and had emerged victorious.
but they knew the true test of their strength was yet to come. On the Thraxian command ship, Commander Zorak was deep in thought. The humans had shown a level of creativity and adaptability that he had never encountered before. It was both impressive and troubling. We cannot face them head on. Their creativity is too formidable. Zorak admitted, his pride wounded but his mind already working on new plans. What is our next move, Commander? Vrax asked, eager to regain their lost honor. We must learn from this encounter, study their tactics. We will not be defeated again, Zorak declared, his eyes burning with a renewed determination. Back on Earth, General Carter and his team were already planning their next move. They knew the Thraxians would return, and they needed to be ready. We need to stay ahead of them, use our creativity and adaptability to our advantage. General Carter said, his mind racing with ideas. We should develop new tactics, new strategies. Keep them guessing, Colonel Lee suggested, his strategic mind already formulating a plan. Agreed. We need to be unpredictable. Use our strengths to exploit their weaknesses, General Carter concurred. As the humans prepared for the next phase of their struggle, they knew they faced a formidable enemy. The Thraxians were not to be underestimated, but neither were they. They had shown their creativity and resilience, and they were determined to continue fighting. We've proven ourselves once again, but we must stay vigilant. The real test is yet to come, General Carter reminded his team. We'll be ready, sir. Always, Private Jenkins said, his voice filled with determination. And so, the humans prepared for the next chapter in their ongoing struggle. They had faced an enemy far more advanced and had emerged victorious, but they knew the true test of their strength was yet to come. They had shown their creativity and resilience, but they knew they had to stay vigilant, always prepared for whatever the galaxy would throw at them next. The aftermath of the second battle left both sides with much to contemplate. The Thraxians, despite their superior technology, had been bested by human creativity and resilience. On Earth, the humans celebrated their victory, but their leaders knew that the true challenge lay ahead. On the Thraxian command ship, Commander Zorak was seething with frustration. The humans had managed to repel their forces twice, a humiliation that the Thraxians were not accustomed to. We must regroup and reassess our strategy. We cannot afford another defeat, Zorak declared, his voice cold and determined. Lieutenant Vrax, still shaken from the recent losses, nodded. What is our plan, Commander? We will study their tactics, understand their strengths and weaknesses. When we return, we will be prepared, Zorak stated, his eyes burning with resolve. Back on Earth, the mood was a mixture of relief and cautious optimism. General Carter gathered his team to discuss their next steps. We've driven them back, but we must stay vigilant. The Thraxians will return, and we need to be ready, General Carter said, his voice firm. Colonel Lee, always the strategist, added, we should analyze their tactics as well. Understand their technology and use it against them. Private Jenkins, feeling more confident than ever, chimed in, what can we do to prepare, sir? We need to fortify our defenses, train our troops, and develop new strategies. We cannot let our guard down, General Carter replied, his mind racing with ideas. Over the next few weeks, the humans worked tirelessly to strengthen their defenses. They fortified their bases, trained their soldiers, and developed new technologies to counter the Thraxian threat. We need to be ready for anything. Use our creativity and adaptability to our advantage, General Carter instructed his team. Colonel Lee, overseeing the training exercises, emphasized the importance of strategy and quick thinking. Remember, it's not just about strength. Use your minds. I'll think the enemy. Private Jenkins, now a seasoned soldier, led his squad in drills designed to prepare them for any scenario. Stay sharp, stay focused. We've beaten them before, and we'll do it again. On the Thraxian command ship, the atmosphere was one of intense focus. 
Commander Zorak and his team were analyzing every detail of their previous encounters with the humans. We must understand their tactics, their strengths, and their weaknesses, Zorak said, his eyes fixed on the holographic display. Lieutenant Vrax, reviewing the battle footage, noted, their creativity and adaptability are their greatest strengths. We need to find a way to counter that. We will develop new strategies, new technologies. When we return, we will be prepared, Zorak declared, his determination unwavering. The day finally came when the Thraxians returned. Their ships, larger and more formidable than ever, descended upon Earth with a renewed sense of purpose. But the humans were ready. Positions, everyone. This is it. Stay focused and remember our training, General Carter commanded, his voice steady. The Thraxian ships began their assault, firing plasma cannons and deploying ground troops. But this time, the humans were prepared. They had fortified their defenses and developed new countermeasures to the Thraxian technology. Deploy the drones and EMPs. Hit them where it hurts, General Carter ordered. Drones away. EMPs activated. Private Jenkins relayed, his hands moving swiftly over the controls. The effect was immediate. The Thraxian ships, once again, began to experience malfunctions. Inside the command ship, Commander Zorak was furious. Sir, our systems are down again. They've disabled our technology. Vrax reported, his voice tinged with frustration. Impossible. How did they? Zorak began, but Vrax interrupted. It's their EMPs, Commander. They found a way to counter our technology. Vrax explained, prepare for a ground assault. We will crush them up close, Zorak decided, his determination unwavering despite the setbacks. As the Thraxian ground troops descended, the humans were ready. They had set up ambush points and fortified their positions. The terrain which the humans knew so well was once again their ally. Stay hidden and strike when they least expect it, General Carter instructed his troops. Colonel Lee, overseeing the ambush points, added, set up traps and use the environment to our advantage. The humans moved swiftly and silently through the terrain. Small groups of soldiers struck suddenly, using hit-and-run tactics that left the aliens confused and disoriented. We've walked into a trap again. Fall back, Zorak shouted, realizing too late that his troops were being outmaneuvered. Their tactics are unpredictable, sir. What do we do? Vrax asked, desperation creeping into his voice. Regroup and counterattack. Do not let them outthink us, Zorak commanded, trying to maintain control of the situation. They're regrouping. Let's give them a warm welcome, Colonel Lee said, the determined glint in his eye. Hit them with everything we have. Show no mercy, General Carter ordered, his resolve unshakable. The humans struck with precision and speed, using their knowledge of the terrain to outmaneuver the larger alien force. Each ambush was a calculated move, designed to disrupt and demoralize the enemy. As the battle raged on, the Thraxian troops found themselves struggling to adapt to the human tactics. Their advanced technology was of little use against the cunning and resourcefulness of the humans. Sir, our forces are being overwhelmed. What are your orders? Vrax asked, his usually composed demeanor shattered. We cannot face them head on. Their creativity is too formidable, Zorek admitted, his pride wounded but his mind already working on new plans. What is our next move, Commander? Vrax inquired, eager to regain their lost honor. We must learn from this encounter. Study their tactics. We will not be defeated again, Zorek declared, his eyes burning with a renewed determination. Back at the human base, the mood was one of cautious optimism. They had proven their strength and ingenuity once again, but they knew they had to stay vigilant. They're pulling back. We've got them on the run, Private Jenkins reported, his voice filled with a mix of relief and excitement. Should we pursue, sir? Colonel Lee asked, ready for the next move. No, let them go. We've shown them what humans can do, General Carter decided his mind already thinking ahead. 
We've proven our strength. The galaxy will know not to underestimate humans. General Carter said, his voice carrying a mixture of pride and warning. Here's to our creativity and resilience. Colonel Lee toasted, the soldiers around him cheering in agreement. To victory and beyond, Private Jenkins shouted, his youthful enthusiasm infectious. General Carter, ever the vigilant leader, reminded them all. Remember, we fight not just with weapons, but with our minds. That is our greatest strength. As the soldiers celebrated, the reality of their situation began to sink in. They had won a significant battle, but the war was far from over. The Thraxians would return, and when they did, the humans would need to be ready. They had shown their creativity and resilience, but they knew they had to stay vigilant, always prepared for whatever the galaxy would throw at them next. In the days following the battle, the humans worked tirelessly to repair the damage and fortify their defenses even further. They knew that the Thraxians would not give up easily and that the next encounter could come at any moment. We need to stay ahead of them, use our creativity and adaptability to our advantage. General Carter instructed his team. Colonel Lee, overseeing the training exercises, emphasized the importance of strategy and quick thinking. Remember, it's not just about strength. Use your minds. I'll think the enemy. Private Jenkins, now a seasoned soldier, led his squad in drills designed to prepare them for any scenario. Stay sharp, stay focused. We've beaten them before, and we'll do it again. On the Thraxian command ship, Commander Zorak was deep in thought. The humans had shown a level of creativity and adaptability that he had never encountered before. It was both impressive and troubling. We cannot face them head on. Their creativity is too formidable, Zorak admitted, his pride wounded but his mind already working on new plans. What is our next move, Commander? Vrax asked, eager to regain their lost honor. We must learn from this encounter, study their tactics. We will not be defeated again, Zorak declared, his eyes burning with a renewed determination. Back on Earth, General Carter and his team were already planning their next move. They knew the Thraxians would return, and they needed to be ready. We need to stay ahead of them, use our creativity and adaptability to our advantage, General Carter said, his mind racing with ideas. We should develop new tactics, new strategies. Keep them guessing, Colonel Lee suggested, his strategic mind already formulating a plan. Agreed, we need to be unpredictable. Use our strengths to exploit their weaknesses, General Carter concurred. As the humans prepared for the next phase of their struggle, they knew they faced a formidable enemy. The Thraxians were not to be underestimated, but neither were they. They had shown their creativity and resilience, and they were determined to continue fighting. We've proven ourselves once again, but we must stay vigilant. The real test is yet to come. General Carter reminded his team. We'll be ready, sir. Always, Private Jenkins said, his voice filled with determination. And so, the humans prepared for the next chapter in their ongoing struggle. They had faced an enemy far more advanced and had emerged victorious, but they knew the true test of their strength was yet to come. They had shown their creativity and resilience, but they knew they had to stay vigilant always prepared for whatever the galaxy would throw at them next.